Hello everyone and welcome to the Animal Kingdom. Today we're going to be talking about hares and rabbits. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and ring the bell for more videos. Rabbits and hares are very similar creatures and they both belong to the family Leporidae. Contrary to popular belief, rabbits and hares are not rodents but lagomorphs, which are very similar to rodents as they are closely related. Rabbits are divided into two groups, the European or domestic rabbit and wild rabbits. European rabbits have been domesticated since the Middle Ages, starting in ancient Rome, where they were bred for meat and fur. This is a picture of two women hunting rabbits with ferrets. If you want to know more about ferrets, click the yellow box in the corner. The breeding of these rabbits eventually led to the existence of the 305 breeds of domesticated rabbit that we know today. Now these rabbits have been introduced into every continent except Antarctica and they are mostly kept as pets. Other than the domesticated rabbit, there are about 13 species of wild rabbit, including the 7 species of cottontail rabbit and the pygmy rabbit, which is the smallest rabbit in the world. There are 32 species of hare in the world, 5 of which are species of jackrabbit. The antelope jackrabbit is the largest species of hare in the world. Rabbits and hares have some similar features, including a split lip, which helps them grab their food. Both rabbits and hares are herbivores, meaning they eat only plant matter. The only defense they have from predators is running away. For this reason, they have long hind legs, which makes it easier for them to hop away quickly. Rabbits and hares have eyes on the side of their head, giving them a nearly 360 degree view so that they can easily spot their predators. They also have long ears and a keen sense of smell, so even if they don't spot danger, they can smell it and hear it. Differences between hares and rabbits Hares have longer ears and hind legs than rabbits. They also like to live alone, unlike rabbits who prefer to live in groups called herds. Rabbits also live in burrows underground, whereas hares live completely above the ground. When hares are born, they are able to fend for themselves and they are born with fur and are not blind unlike rabbits who are born blind and do not have fur. They also lack the ability to regulate their temperature and thus require extensive care, while hares not so much. A baby rabbit is called a kit or kitten and a baby hare is called a leveret. Did you know that a mother rabbit will bury her babies in her burrow where they are safe and she comes back later to feed them. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and ring the bell for more videos.